So I recently went to this pretty cool like concert thing where they showed a movie and they had an orchestra, like a live orchestra there playing all the music. And that movie was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And the, the orchestra did an amazing job syncing up to the movie. I was really impressed. Uh, it's been a long time since I've watched any of those movies actually. And my husband had never seen that movie ever actually and this was his first time seeing it I, I was glad that he got to go with me and see it at least so that he knows what i'm talking about anyway it just uh, helped me um kind of get back into the spirit of harry potter also it's october and halloween's coming up and it just seemed appropriate to maybe do a little harry potter diy i haven't done one in a couple of years um i guess since monster book of monsters i can't think of one since so I thought, well, maybe it would be cool to do a DIY from the first book, something that's specific to Sorcerer's Stone. And I kind of started thinking about that, like what is in that book and only in that book? Something that I think is cool and interesting. And what I came up with is this uh, Flying Keys Mobile. Basically, it's a broom with flying keys. I mean, that's unique to the book. And it just seemed like something I could do. I found all these little keys at a craft store, and so I just bought a bunch of them and some feathers and put this together, and I'll show you how I did it. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, to make the broom, you're gonna need a 12 inch uh, dowel rod, or you can make it as big as you want, honestly. That's just how big this one is. And then you're gonna need several twigs, just snap them all to about the size you want. And then I just start hot gluing them onto the dowel rod in a fashion that makes them look like a broom. Pretty simple. Now this step is completely optional, uh, but I just took some brown like flower wire. I think it's like floral wire you can find at any craft store. It's like this coated wire. It's kind of got a fabric coating on it. I don't really know any better way to explain it other than that. But anyway, I just wrapped it around the broom um, several times just to kind of have something that binds it all together in addition to the glue and it just makes it look a little more realistic. Um, you could use something else probably this is just something that I had on hand uh, but I think that turned out pretty good. Now you just need keys. Lots and lots of keys. As you can see I have multiple brands. I've found them in multiple stores. I just kind of basically every, anywhere I could find keys I bought keys. <laughs> And I found quite a few in different places, so I know you can find them too. I even had one laying around the house. So just get you a nice collection and you should be set. So next you're gonna need a bunch of feathers. I just found this bag of feathers at the craft store. They have um, varying sizes, but they're all pretty small. But you should be able to find these anywhere as well. You also are gonna need invisible cord. You can find this in the jewelry section. It's for like bracelets and stuff like that, but this is what's going to kind of give your keys the illusion of flying. So take a piece of your visible cord and you're going to want to tie it around the middle of the key near the top because that way it'll look like it's flying and not just hanging, if that makes sense. You don't want it going straight up and down or it loses its effect. So find a spot in the middle near the near the top so that it'll hang um, so kind of sideways and don't worry we'll be adding some glue in a little bit to kind of secure all this but just find you a good spot and tie a knot now trim the excess from the short side but leave the long Now pick out the feathers that you're going to use on your key. I just kind of made sure that they matched up a little bit. Then just take a spot of hot glue and place it right where your string is. 
This will both help secure the string and the feather at the same time. And then just use a second dab to glue on the second feather. Now that you've got multiple keys made, it's time to start figuring out where on the broom you're gonna hang them. This is a little bit trial and error. You wanna kinda alternate the heights so some are dangling lower and some are dangling higher and they kinda alternate among each other, uh, each other and not get to where they're too close to each other. So you just have to kind of experiment with this. I used um, a strand, just a, a strip of tape across the top of the broom to kinda hold the string in place as I experimented and then um, once I finally figured out where I wanted to put them off and have their final positions then I was able to remove that tape and tie them on uh, in the position that I wanted them but you have to be able to experiment so that's what the tape is for. I think I failed to film this but after this um, to keep the strings from sliding around after the tape was removed, I did end up adding like a little bit of hot glue to like one side that was going to be the most hidden just so that it wouldn't slide around. Um, they ended up being a little bit unstable, so uh, that ended up being a necessary step, uh, at least for me. Um, there might be a better way, but that's just what I ended up doing. But other than that, this project is pretty well done. I just added, um, here I'm adding some string so that it can be hung up uh, once it's done. And I'm sorry, I keep going out of frame. Um, I kept having to lift it up to see what it looked like and was not paying attention at all to my camera frame. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this. I just had to uh, get it all to hang the way I wanted to, and I won't lie, it took a little bit of patience at times because all that string is really small, but I know you can do it if you really want to. In the end, it turned out just almost exactly how I had imagined it, so I was really happy. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I'm so, so glad you clicked on my video today and gave this a watch. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I hope I'll see you on my next video. Bye.